Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. I am here today doing a PSA reveal. This was my last PSA submission before the big shutdown. So these were the last ones that I was able to submit at a reasonable price. And it took about 13 months for it to show back up. Some of these cards have aged pretty well other ones maybe not so much but let's see what grades we get and we'll jump right in with box number one so a lot of these are going to be prospect cards from 2020 um and let's see what side are these going to be open aha there we go so we've got All of these and we'll just start from the top some of these are definitely PC cards other ones would be ones that I am looking to sell but maybe bring to the uh, the uh, national here in a few months we might do that so let's begin we start with a 1986 Mike Trout this is a silver pack. This is definitely going to be a PC card for me. Just love the Mojo Refractor. So let's see what the Mike Trout gets. 2021 top silver pack. Gem Mint 10. Great way to start. And I think what we'll do, I'm actually going to flip these over. Give me one second here. There we go. We'll flip these. That way we can get the trash out of here. So our next one going to be a 2020 Luis Robert Sepia rookie card tops chrome Sepia refractor this one comes in at a nine I'll take a nine on this card Robert definitely one of the hotter names in the hobby over the past few years so we get the nine there we got another Luis Robert coming up and that's going to be the refractor rookie card from tops chrome this one comes in same card rookie card only the refractor this one also gets a nine with a card that's been submitted as much as that definitely harder to get the 10 would have loved to have had that graded out because some of these cards i believe if there wasn't already thousands of them you had a much better chance of getting a 10 early on than you do these days now this one going to be the tops chrome update this is the rookie debut Luis Robert from 2020 Tops Chrome. This one, Gem Mint 10. So maybe we should go like this. We got two nines and we got two tens. So we're two for four. The good news is we have nothing lower than a nine. I am fine with nines just as I am with tens. This one, gonna be a Joe Adele PC card right here. This is 2021 Tops Gem Mint 10. Nice one for the PC right there. Interestingly, I already have one now. But again, I submitted this over 13 months ago. Can't wait to get that card. This one going to be, this is 20, yeah, 2020 Bowman Heritage. This is a Joe Adele Chrome Blue, number 13 out of 99. So it is the Blue Refractor. And it comes in, another PC card here, comes in at a 9. So we get the nine on the Joe Adele to 99. Nice PC card right there. We're going to see some more Joe Adele right now. The Joe Adele. Now this one, beautiful card right here. 2020 Bowman Chrome. This is the 1990 throwback. This one comes in. It's an orange, by the way, numbered 5 to 25. Comes in at a nine. Would have loved for this card to gem out. Would love to know where it came in at a nine. Maybe a little bit of the back, a little off-centered. I remember when I sent this card, I thought for sure it would get a 10. So a little bummed on the nine. But again, so long as we don't get eights, I'm going to be kind of cool with it. Okay, this one, going to be the throwing, which I do not have this card in my PC. It's the 2019 Bowman Mega Box. This is the throwing variation from 2019 Mega. This one gets a 10. Love this beautiful card right here. Actually a pretty hard kind of a pretty hard card to find on the secondary market. So we get a 10 on the Joe Adele. 
the next one. Another Joe Adele. This, the running, this is the normal one. This is the purple Mojo Mega Box. This one's numbered 56 out of 250. So same thing, Mega Box. The running purple gets a nine. So the nine may be a little bottom heavy, kind of tough to see on those 2019s, but we do get the nine. Then we have another tough card to find on the secondary market. This is from Topps Holiday 2019. This is the blue festive parallel numbered 58 out of 150. This one comes in at a mint nine. So we get another nine there. So the nines are starting to pile up. Would love to know why some of these, you know, one of these days we'll know exactly what makes a nine a nine and a 10 a 10. All right, this one, one of my favorite cards. Again, an image variation, another Joe Adele. This is from 2018 Tops Pro Debut. This is the image variation, the bat at the side. One of my favorite Joe Adele, uh, Joe Adele cards because it is on field but not in action. Just a nice shot of him. And we come in on this one. Beautiful, a gem mint 10. Love that card. So both of our image variations do get 10, so I will take that all day long. All right, another PC card. This is going to be the negative refractor, Fernando Tatis, Topps Chrome 2019. This is his Topps All-Star Rookie Cup card. This one comes in at a mint 9. So a Tatis mint 9. Again, another PC card there. Would have loved for that to have been a 10. Again... Don't really see. You would have to look at it under a lube. Could be some surface stuff on a negative refractor. Surface stuff will tend to show a little bit more. All right, now here we go. A blue Mike Trout. This is 2019 Topps Chrome. This is from Update. This is his All-Star 2019 card. It is the blue refractor. I believe it is numbered. Yep, 138 out of 150. This card comes in. At another nine. So again, another PC card here. The Mike Trout to nine. 150. Now we have the same card. This is going to be the pink refractor. This is the retail refractor. So this one, 2019 Tops Chrome. Pink, we get the Gem Mint 10. So we'll take the 10 on that. Beautiful card right there. So no eight, so we're doing okay. Kind of half and half on the tens versus nines. Do we have another Mike Trout? This is the Mike Trout image variation 2019. Just a cool card, another one for the PC. When I sent this, I believed it would get a nine. There's a little bit, when you look at it under a loop, I think it was this corner up here that's a little bit soft. I would be shocked if it got a 10. It does get a nine, so we get the nine here, but again, another PC card, just a very cool Mike Trout card overall. And as he is one of my PCs, we're definitely happy with the nine on that, getting it slabbed. Here we go. We also have the 2019. This is the Topps Chrome. This is going to be the Prism Refractor. And another nine. So we get a nine Prism. Again, another PC card. I will take a nine all day. Our nines almost double in the tens now, though, so we'll keep an eye on that. Here we go. Now we have a 2018 this is the 1983 design. This is the green refractor. It is numbered 32 out of 99. So it is a green refractor. Pretty well-centered card here. Let's see what we get. We get the green, another nine. Would love to know, again, when we look at the centering. Pretty good on centering. Centering good on the back. So there's got to be something with a corner or a surface that I am just not seeing. Didn't see it under the loop. A little bum that that one didn't get a 10, but I'll take a nine. Again, it's a PC card. It's another trout. So let's see, here we go. Now, the 2018 Walker Bueller rookie card, Topps Chrome. This is the pink refractor from Update. This one comes in at another nine. Now this, a very hard card. As you can see down here, as I'm looking, maybe a little bit uh, bottom heavy on this card, but we get another nine, but still a beautiful, beautiful Walker Bueller. 
one of the best pitchers in the game. So we'll take that one as a nine. Then we have a little wander. This is the 2020 Tops update. These were my favorite cards from 2020 Tops update, the number one prospect subset. It was an insert set from update. We have the Wander Franco, and the Franco also coming in at a nine, which I'm not really sure why on this one either, but we had a tough grader on our hands, obviously. So for our next one, let's get this one open. So we get another nine. Some days you just get graders that are gonna be more tough. The good news here, no eights yet. And the other good news, a lot of PC cards in this submission. So, and if I could get this open, we'll continue on. Pop these out. And we got a whole nother box. So, a card that maybe hasn't aged as well as part of the submission, but still a fun one. The Heston Kerstad Bowman 2020 First Edition. And it's from Bowman Draft. So it is his first edition card. Back when I submitted this card, he was one of the hottest ones. He ran into some health issues. This one does come in at a Gem Mint 10. If he gets over those health issues, that'll be fantastic. So we get a 10 there on the Cursed Ad. Our next card, a beautiful Jason Dominguez Mega Box 2020 Bowman Chrome Mega Box Mojo Refractor. This is the first Jason Dominguez card. So Jason Dominguez first. Boom, baby. How about a Gem Mint 10 on that sucker? Beautiful card right there. Glad we got the 10. I do not PC him. This is one that was an intent to sell. So we get the 10 there. I will take that all day long and go home happy. We have another Jason Dominguez. This one going to be the Jason Dominguez Bowman Draft. And this is the, his first edition card. So not his first Bowman, but his first edition from Bowman Draft. This is from 2020. Another Gem Mint 10. Jason Dominguez, first edition. Take that as well. So the 10s trying to catch up to the 9s on this submission. Our next one. Not quite sure why I submitted this one. Jason Dominguez was huge 14 months ago when this was all being decided. So we got the Bowman Chrome, Jason Dominguez spanning the globe. This was an insert. We get another Gem Mint 10. So three Jason Dominguez 10s. We'll take that. Our next card, a big one. We have the Asa Lacey. First Bowman, orange parallel number one out of 25. Autographed. This one comes in at a mint nine. Obviously one I would have loved to have gotten a 10 on. Not quite sure. Beautifully centered. Centered on the back. You would have to look at all of these underneath a microscope to me on the uh, underneath a loop. To me, all of these corners look great. Again, maybe a little bit of a tough grader on my hands on the day these got graded. But that's okay. All right, here we go. Next one, 2020 Bowman Draft, Andrew Vaughn. This is a first edition card. It is the Sky Blue Parallel. We have a Gem Mint 10. I will take that one all day. Beautiful card right there. Tough card to gem out. A lot of the first edition foils are very difficult to get in a 10. So glad to see that one got a 10. Our next card. I was PCing Andrew Vaughn big time at the time. The same exact card. So we have two of them. We have the 2020 Bowman Draft First Edition Sky Blue. Another 10. Sell one. Throw one into the PC. We get two 10s on the Andrew Vaughn. All right, next, the Andrew Vaughn. This is the first edition orange parallel. I believe this one, I thought this one was numbered. Is it not numbered? Do I not see a number? Am I just not seeing that? Ah, there it is. It is five out of 25. So we have the first edition orange 
Andrew Vaughn, that one comes in at the nine. Again, maybe a little bit off-centered to the left. I think a nine is a fair grade on that one. Our next one, we have another Andrew Vaughn. This is a first Bowman. This is 2019. This is from Bowman Draft. It is his Chrome Sapphire first edition, or first Bowman from Bowman Draft. It is the Sapphire edition. We get a nine. Another nine here. Again, 2019 Bowman, a little difficult to decipher on the centering. However, when I looked at this card, I thought it was pretty good. Would have loved to have gotten a 10, but we do get a nine. None of these grades I've thought are like unfair. Maybe just a little tough. All right, here we go. Interesting one right here. The Adley Rutschman. This is Leaf Metal Draft 2019. It is autographed. And I believe it is numbered 7 out of 25. And it is the Purple Parallel from 2019 Leaf Metal Draft. Gets a 10. So a 10 Adley Rutschman Auto to 25. This card going to be a nice card to have in 2021. Probably came back at a perfect time. So we'll take that one. Our next one going to be another Adley. This is from 2019 Bowman's Best. This is the Atomic Refractor Parallel. Beautiful looking card here. We get a nine. So another nine comes in right here. Again, a tough card to tell with surface because of all the cracked uh, Atomic Refractor going on. Could have some surface issues. Another card that is borderless so if we look up here we can kind of see maybe that bowman's best logo a little low nine's not a bad grade on that card i will take it our next one another adley this is going to be the first bowman refractor adley rutschman from 2019 draft this one comes in at a nine so refractor nine for the adley Love to have gotten a 10 on that one, but we got another one right here, I believe. Same card, 2019 Bowman Draft, Adley Rutschman. Also a 9. Interesting, as we look at these, almost exactly the same centered. So not quite sure what bumps these down to a 9, but again, use your loop. That's what it's for. This one, kind of a fun one. We have the... Adley Rutschman, Ryan Mount Ca Castle, and Usnail Diaz Talent Pipeline Atomic Refractor from 2020 Bowman Draft. This one comes in also at a 9. So striking out on the 10s with the Adley, but we did get the Adley with the auto in a 10, so we'll take that. Then another PC card right here. Nice one, too. It's the 2020 Bowman Draft Robert P uh, Poisson. This is a first edition red foil. It's going to be numbered... I believe it's one out of five. Yep, one out of five right here. First edition red foil. This one comes in also at a nine. Like I said earlier, these are tough to get in a 10, tough to gem up. A one out of five, probably a pop one card, maybe pop two. But a Robert Poisson, a, it is a PC card. But in a 10, maybe you consider selling it. We have another Poisson right here. This one going to be 2020 Bowman Heritage. This is the yellow number 22 out of 75 yellow refractor. This one comes in another nine. So another nine right here. Maybe a little bottom heavy on the centering, but a beautiful card nonetheless. Nice nine there, especially with the athletics. Kind of a, a jersey match. Just a nice card. I will take a nine on that one. Then we have more Luis Robert, it looks like. This one going to be the 2020 Tops Update Silver Pack. This is a Mojo Refractor rookie card. This one, a gem, mint 10. Luis Robert, beautiful one right here in that 1985 design. So take that one in the 1985. Love it. Then we also have, that one was from Tops Update. This one is I believe from Top Series 2. Yep, Top Series 2, 2020 Silver Pack. So the other Silver Pack that you could get from 2020, Luis Robert Rookie Card. This one comes in with the Mint 9. Very well-centered card. Not quite sure what's wrong with it, but again, no 8s yet. So we keep on moving. 
So the last one in box number two going to be a Heston Kerstead 2020 Bowman draft. This is his chrome base. How about a gem mint 10? Beautiful Kerstead. Again, hopefully he can get over the health issues. And in our final box, let's see what we get there. There shouldn't be as many in this box. For whatever reason, this tape does not want to cut. There we go. Yeah, it looks like there's only five or six in this. So we're clear these ones out. See what else we got. So our next one here, going to be a fun one. A 2020 Bowman Draft, Ed Howard, class of 2020. And this is numbered 213 out of 250 auto. A gem mint nine. Again, another nine on an auto. Love to see tens on autos because they command a premium. But we do get a nine here. This was a card I was looking to sell. Probably would still sell it even as a nine. It's going to hold value, so we'll take that. Then we have a Matthew Dyer. Graded this one simply because it is a parallel to 71. It is a first Bowman Matthew Dyer. Again, a card I would sell. This one coming out of 2020 Bowman Draft. It is the Speckle Sparkle Refractor, numbered 47 out of 71. Another Mint 9. So a lot of my autographs not gemming up. A little bit of a bummer on that one. All right, next one. Spencer Torkelson, 2020 Bowman Draft First Edition. This would be a first Bowman First Edition. Spencer Torkelson, this one comes in. Nice, right there. 10, we'll take it all day. So another 10, we've stayed away from eights for the entire submission. Let's see if we can keep that up. Another PC card right here. This is going to be a gold. 2020 Bowman Draft. This is a paper, not a chrome, but it is the gold parallel. Numbered 9 out of 50. Reed Detmer's a PC card here. Gets a 9. Interesting that it got a 9. As I look down here, a little corner. Maybe just a little soft down there. But again, a PC card. Reed Detmer's already pitching at the major league level. We'll take that one. All right. Now... We have a 2019 Bowman Heritage Gavin Lux. This is a chrome yellow. It is numbered 73 out of 75. So another Gavin Lux parallel. Bowman Heritage, what do we get? How about a nine? Pretty well centered card. So it's got to be a surface or a corner or an edge maybe. So we get a nine there. And our final card in the submission, the ever popular 2020 Panini Downtowns, this one is of Cody Bellinger. This card maybe hasn't aged as well as when I sent it. He was coming off an MVP year, then had a terrible year last year. But it is a downtown. This is from Panini Diamond Kings 2020. We get a gem mint nine. Probably edges, because you, as you can probably see up there, even on the video, the edge may be not perfect. But, and again, centering on this stuff, just really hard to know one way or another. But we get a 9 out of the downtown. Beautiful card to have slabbed. So I will take it. So that is the PSA submission, my last one, before all the prices went up and the shutdown. I would say we were a little bit better than half on 10 to 9s. We got no 8s, which is a positive. Again, a lot of these are PC cards, so totally fine with it. Some of them definitely will be trying to sell over at card shows and stuff like that. So let me know what you think about the grades below. Did I get a tough grader? Were they fair grades? Let me know what you think about the submission in the comments. Always love to hear them. On top of that, if you have not done so already, throw over to first, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you like this content as well. With that, guys, as always, as you're out there in the wild, I hope you have great luck finding the packs that you want to open. And when you open them, I hope you pull fire. Until next time, take care of your family, take care of your friends, take care of your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching.